the kind of uh, start Carlos gave us and then the offense that we were hoping to, you know, you could see some things trending in a better direction. The guys were taking really good at bats and grinding through um, even in that last series against Milwaukee. But, um, you know, just uh, everybody really contributing today and um, Carlos kind of setting the tone with how he went about his business. That slider really seems to be working for him here. Yeah, it is. It's working against lefties. He's throwing both sides of the plate. Um, and, and then you, know, you have to respect the velocity either on the sinker and then obviously on the on the four seamer too when he climbs the ladder. He, he's just in a nice place right now, making good pitches. What, were, what did you see against Gosman tonight in your guys' approach? Because he has that a ten, tendency to have the strikeouts, but he also gives up a ton of hits. Yeah, yeah, he's got good stuff. There's no question. Um, you know, kind of arm that we're talking about with Carlos. I think it's controlling counts. You know, you, just like at the beginning, you know, start out with a walk and. Um, you know, we've had trouble with, with our guys, same same deal. It's good stuff that we're not controlling and getting into good pitchers' counts, and then all of a sudden you have to you have to find more of the plate, and I think our guys were taking pretty good passes when he went there. By the end, almost everybody had hit, but the bottom of the order early, I mean, how important was that for them to kind of get it started? Yeah, big, and um, just put together some good at-bats with Martinez and Paul DeYoung having a huge day, and um, you know, both of those guys just – anxious to jump in and, and help contribute. Diaz hitting the ball hard as well. I just think all the way through, I think Steven was our only guy that didn't didn't come, uh, didn't have, have a hit today. But um, just overall, I think it was just kind of those relentless at-bats that we, we know that when we got things clicking, that's what it should look like. That 10 pitch at-bat by Jose stand out to you. It's huge, yeah, and then come through. And then that's... And then you get Carp and Dex both up there too to, to put a little exclamation on it. But it was, yeah, Jose set the tone right there. He's taking some, you know, the guy can hit. He's a dangerous hitter. He got a lot of power. Um, you know, then watching Tommy, Tommy hit a, a bomb today. And uh, just a couple young guys that I don't think the league knows that much about. And certainly this other league doesn't. And um, doing a nice job with their opportunity. How do you sit hitter Paul the young show? Yeah, I'm, I'm not surprised. I mean, this is a guy that I think, I mean, I remember early on we had Steven here talking about how he makes those adjustments mid at bat or at bat to at bat. He comes back, uh, he's, he's asking the right questions. He's seeing and he's talking through, you know, how they're trying to get him out and has an idea of, of what they're thinking. And, and, you know, that's just, um, you know, instead of just going through what he didn't do, he's, he's putting the other side into the equation of what their approach may be. And, and then he's able to make those those adjustments. And <clears throat> he's, uh, you know, he's got, got a lot of power showed off this year, I think, in Memphis. And I think all, over, all the way around, he's going to put up some good at-bats. It hasn't seemed like he's overwhelmed by the moment of getting his first shot in the bags. No, he hasn't at all. And I think uh, that, that's the benefit of spring training. You know, we throw him in there in a lot of different situations. It just spent a lot of time talking to him, how he handles, you know, a couple bad at-bats or how he handles a little success. Um, and, and I think they tell you a lot about themselves. And Paul's, you know, I think, uh, mature uh, for his... He you know, wasn't drafted that long ago, and has come up through. We have a couple of those guys, um, but he's done a nice job of, of making the every step. Just learn a little bit more, and I think he's got that ability, that that capacity to keep learning. And Brett Cecil got something to build on again. Right? Yeah, he's had some good outings. This was a good one for him too. Two, he really two. I mean, just the one cutter that got too much of the plate, but nice outing by him also. With uh, with Carlos and the slider, do you find that he can throw for a strike at the end of the chase when we saw him? Yeah, I mean, but he, just like he does with the movement on his sinker, he does the same thing with the slider. He'll throw one that just kind of spins, and it'll stay on the inside part of the plate to a righty or or just hug on, on the backside to the lefty. Uh, and then he'll throw one that sweeps across the plate. He throws one that bites down. I mean, just manipulating the ball and uh, the movement, it's, it's pretty impressive.